big day has arrived. It is Thursday the 21st, maybe 21st of September, which means today me and Pasaz are leaving for Sirencester for our three day event. Um, I feel like I have kind of spoken about it quite a lot, but just a quick recap. This summer, me and Zazie took part in the Cotswold Cup, which was an unaffiliated eventing series, uh, which ran at various venues over the summer. And if you finished in the top 10 or got a double clear, you got a certain number of points. And if you got enough points, then you qualified for the champs. And me and Zazie very excitingly did get enough points and have qualified for the champs. And that is this weekend. And they are running it in a long format, three day eventing style, which if you've watched my prep vlog, you will know because I think I mentioned it about a billion times in that vlog. Um, I'll link it up here now because it's probably worth watching that one before this one because you'll get a slightly better idea of and the prep that I've had to do for this and why it is a bit different to a normal one day event but obviously throughout this vlog you will see why it's different to a normal one day event and um, because it runs over three days and you have something called roads and tracks but I think what I'm going to do is because it is such a long event I'm going to split it into two uh, videos otherwise there's just going to be so much footage so today this what video is going to be day one and two because we're actually there for four days Today is Thursday, we leave today, but I don't have any, my dressage is tomorrow. So today is kind of settling in. Um, yeah, unpacking the lorry, oh, I'll have to show you. It is so full and I've not even packed it yet. Then tonight we have a riders briefing. We can walk around the roads and tracks for the first time, do my minute markers. And tomorrow then is dressage and our first trot up day. So that is quite exciting because I've never done Shot up with Zazie either. I was doing my outfit this morning, but obviously you'll see that tomorrow. So yeah, and we're hoping to leave within the next couple of hours. Um, we are actually gonna we are actually gonna clip her before we go. You can't see it's really dark because she has got quite fluffy. And I need to wash her now, pull her mane, get her looking smart, and finish packing the last few things. So yeah, I can't believe finally the day has come. I'm feeling quite nervous, but. It's fine. I'll be fine once I'm there. So, yeah, welcome to the first video of this Champs vlog. Can you tell that I'm a bit nervous? Right, that is it. Everything is loaded up. It was a little bit, oh, sorry, uh, manic. Well, not manic, but because we clipped her, it took a bit longer. So I haven't actually filmed anything since earlier. Um, I think I'll show you unpacking everything when we get there because I'm not gonna go through all the lorry now because I'm literally about to leave but it is all in there hopefully I've got a mammoth long checklist here it's double-sided like three pages worth of things like it's all dotted off we've got everything and yeah I'm gonna get on the road now First glimpse of our dressage arenas over there in the distance and the polo court, or not court, but whatever, whatever a polo court is called, is right there. Oh, stables over there. Anyway, I better focus on parking. <laughs> right, we have arrived. I have found Zazie's stable. Here it is. So, just getting ready for her to go in. Um, put they give us two bales of shaving, so we've put two down and we've left some grass at the front for her to eat. Just gonna do her water, go and get some buckets and water. I think she's got a neighbour already. Hello? I don't know where that place comes from. Maybe the other side. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get some water and get her stable ready so she can go in. Come on! She's like, well, this is your camp. Time to go and find your stable. Good girl. Because ours is in the last row of stables. And then our camp is there. 
so it's not too far to go. Go and get her settled in. She's thinking, what is going on? Hello. She <laughs> can't even see you. I'm trying to work out how to do these stables. They're a bit tricky. Are you settling in? You're a good girl. Are you coming out? Get back. Good girl. It's a bit uh, small in here to film. Are you calm down? I'm going to put your mesh rug on. Here she is, guys. You haven't seen her since she was clipped. Looking nice and smart. And hopefully that will just make her a bit more comfortable because she was getting rather fluffy. We brought Zazie back to the lorry because we're going to tack her up here because all the tack is over here at the moment, so may as well. And we're going to have our first walk, uh, well, ride around the Rosen tracks. Try and work out what on earth I'm doing and what route we've got to do. So, yeah, that is the plan now. Get her tacked up and take a little hack around the Rosen tracks. Now we're on phase C. I don't know which side of the marker we're meant to be. I think this side. We are currently hacking phase C, which is the 5K. Hopefully it's not too windy and it's so nice. Like it's all on grass. Phase A was all on grass. Phase C, we've just got here. This is the two kilometer sign. And I'm not sure if you can see, it's basically you go around the edge of this crop field and it's all this like really nice cut grass so yeah it will be good but, so if I need to canter to catch up on time you can basically canter wherever you want and Zazie's feeling good feeling on good form she's a bit um hyped up now because her hacking buddy has peeled back off to the lorry park but I'm gonna give her a trot around this field because she hasn't been ridden today she's a bit of a leg stretch but it's good for me to kind of work out what I'm doing and where I'm going and we saw the steeple chase I'm gonna walk that later because you can't ride around it obviously at the moment um so I'm gonna walk or bike it later on but yeah phases a and c are looking good so far and I can't really believe I'm actually here doing it it's kind of been in the planning for ages and now I'm actually here hello the stable isn't big enough for me and you to both be in here is it all back tucked up and enjoying her haylage and yeah first ride done at siren plan for this evening is we've got the hello Ryla's briefing at half six which is in an hour and a half ish i think she wants a roll but she's kind of sussing out whether it's big enough for her to have a roll or she's gonna have another wee yeah she's gonna have another wee hello the stable is so small she's weeing in her face you're blocking me what a nice thing for people to hear. And then I need to work out the Rosen Tracks times, but I'm going to try and focus on my dressage test and trot up for tomorrow because that's what day two is. Well, it's technically day one, isn't it, of competition. Trot up and dressage test. I need to go through in my head and make sure I really do know it. So on at 11.19 tomorrow and trot up Zazie is at 9.30. It's my phone. So yeah. That is Zazie Ridden for the day. I'm not sure what we'll be doing the rest of the day that will be on the vlog. But yeah, that is our plan. I can't come out. Welcome to day two of um, Tamp's vlog. Gosh, I'm still half asleep. It's quite early, I think it's like half seven. We had a lot of rain last night, but thankfully the sun is coming out. So yeah, we didn't sleep overly well, but never mind. We've got up and fed Zazie and now and skipped her out and now we're gonna go and give her a hand grey so we'll go and find her now. Well I went to her stable and she wasn't there she's already been taken out for a hand grey so I'm going to go and get her now she's well you can't see her but she's the other side of this field. Go and find her and today is dressage and well first trot up this morning and then dressage so those are the two big things for today. Trot up is 9.30 we have to be ready for 9.30 so I've got my trousers on underneath here 
and then dressage is at 11.19. So I think we'll be quite a busy morning and then chill this afternoon. So yeah, I'm just gonna get her, let her have a, a leg stretch and graze because she's been in all night and she's not used to being in. And I'll bring her back to the lorry and pat her up and get us looking all smart for the trot up. For context, there's the lorry park. You can't even see the stables. Pazaz won't have any of this grass. Where is she? Where is she? There she is, all the way down the bottom end because this is the only grass that she'll like. But she's a golden older, she's allowed to be picky. Good morning, Miss Fussy. She's still not eating, so we're gonna have a walk around. You're too stressed. Good girl. We need to practice our trot up, mate. We need to have a little jog in a minute. Still haven't practiced, so hopefully it'll go okay. Can any of this tempt you? No. Still no. No on the grass front, even though we've come all the way down to the other end of the field. I didn't do it and just giving her some shiny spray for her coat and then going to walk her around for ages so that she is feeling nice and loose for a trot up. Hey Zazie. Right, dressed and ready, heading down. We've changed Fairfax boots out. You can't see them. And Zazie's got her number on. It is a bit of a wet walk. We're gonna have a practice in the field running with a hat, my hair down, which is a bit of a mess. Yeah, the, yeah, my boots should be okay. Yeah, no, exactly. Just a couple left in section C. Come on, Sazzy. And Pizzazz is accepted. Yay! Trot up all down and past and back to the lorry because we've got about an hour before we're going to get ready for dressage. So yes, my hat didn't fall off, so that was a, a tick because I was a little bit worried about that. But we had a bit of a practice in the field and now I need to change back into, well, into my competition stuff. Let's tell the dogs to be quiet. Thank you. Be quiet. You. Jigsaw's come today, so. Miss Elu. Hello. <laughs> you can't even see you. So we've got our two, two guard dogs, well Rita's the main guard dog. And now it's all thinking about dressage and making sure I remember the test. I'm going to watch through it again. But yes, this is our little setup. I'm not sure if I showed you. We've got the awning, so the seating area, caravan there, and then the lorry with all Zazzy's stuff in. And obviously see it's tied up at the side of the lorry. Very smart. Zazzy, treats for the good girl. Half in my competition stuff, and I'm not sure if I've mentioned, but our test today I mean, if you've watched my prep vlog, you already know, but it's a 20 by 60 arena, so normally it's a 20 by 40 arena, so it's slightly longer. So we have a few more markers that we need to go to, and um, yeah, it's a bit more of a complicated test. But I have run through it in my head, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll remember where I'm going. Famous last words watch it as well because they've done like a demo rider riding it good girl but yeah so we're chilling because we've got a bit more time until we need to head down to dressage warm-up so put her rug back on and just yeah chilling out because obviously she's already plaited up so that's one less thing 
to tick off. But yeah, it was fun doing a trot up for the first time. Never done one before, obviously. And yeah, it was nice to get all dressed smart. Because as we can barely see you because your head is so high. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with you when we are ready to go down to dressage because it's not much going to be happening between now and then, I don't think. Okay, here we go. Here I am on the right hand side of the screen coming in to my dressage arena. Uh, and I think I touched on it earlier, it's 20 by 60, so it's longer than normal. And you can see the arena is really nice. They've got the whiteboards all the way around the edge, and it looks really nice for a championship arena. So there were two judges for this test as well one at C and one at B. I'm going to read off the sheet from B because it's just going to get too complicated looking at two sheets. Uh, but there we go. First centre line, 6.5. I think we did get 6.5 from both judges. She just went really hollow as we went in. The atmosphere doesn't normally get to her. Normally she's dead as a dodo. But um, I think, I don't know. She just felt a bit more on edge than normal, but not in a good way. Um, it's a very complicated test. I'm not going to read through everything because it's just really complicated to follow with all the different markers that are in a 20 by 60. Uh, but here we're getting 6.5 for this trot work saying need more activity. And then here we're meant to be showing some length and strides, which wasn't too bad. We got 6.5 needing a bit more of a difference. And then this is our left hand transition, which was horrendous. And they said hollow in transition, which is, oh, yeah, fair enough. I was so cross with her. So naughty, because she's fine in the warm-up. And then here we're doing a 20-metre circle. And then on the second half, so once we've crossed this centre line, we're meant to be showing some lengthened strides again. We got 6.5 for all of this canter. So, oh, it's, oh, I hate watching it back. <laughs> it's pretty average. Um... Unsteady contact there, yes, fair enough. Then we actually got a seven for this trot, so that's better. And we basically mirror what we've just done. So across this short kind of diagonal, we show length and strides, and we got a seven with improving. And then for our right canter transition down the bottom, we also got a seven. And her right rein is better. So that was better. Seven for that, so that's good. And then Again, we go across the middle in a minute and do our 20 metre circle at X. And we got a six for this um, with the comment for showing the length and the strides on the second half needs more difference. Yeah, I don't think you can really see much of a difference there. But then for the rest of this turn and back to trot, we got a seven. So that was good. And... Yeah, all this trot work was seven with no comment. So there's a few sevens in here, which we'll take. And then this, in a minute, we do our transition to medium walk. And we got a seven for our medium walk from this judge. I think our other judge, yeah, we got sixes for all this with our other judge. So that's where it kind of led us down. So the judge at C gave us sixes, whereas I think this judge at B, they maybe can't see. I don't know. But anyway, these this judge gave us all sevens for this. And here we are doing a free walk serpentine for the first loop. And then here we're meant to go into a stretchy trot for the second 
loop, but she didn't really stretch. We got a six for that trot. Again, she was doing it well in practice, but not here. It was too much to look at. And now we're going back into working trot, 6.5, unsteady contact, which, yes, it is. Turning across the middle. This is just a weird kind of turning sequence to kind of change the rein. But now we're back on a 7 from this judge for this trot work. Um, the other judge gave us 6.5. Um, and then we do this weird, we go down the three quarter line and then once we reach the center line between X and E, we change the rain here down to F and we got a 6.5, oh no, I'm getting ahead of myself. We got a seven still from the nice judge. And then down the center line, we got a 6.5 above bit. And it's really weird. You have to do a walk transition here and then walk till X and then ask them to trot again for the final halt, which I was dreading with pizzazz. <laughs> we got a 6 for our final halt from this judge and a 6.5 from the other, which is a shame. She did a square halt but not quite square behind, which this side judge picked up on. But the one at C couldn't see that, so yeah, there's our test. As per usual, in tears after dressage. <laughs> She's such a monkey. Um, yeah, she just went really hollow in the test and now she's being impatient because her feed is waiting to soak. Yeah, not great, but um, same as normal to be honest. But yeah, very, very hollow today after warming up really nicely. She went in the boards and just stuck her head up for what felt like the whole way around. Um, plus points, I didn't forget the test. She actually did everything where I asked her to, even if she didn't look great. I haven't watched it back. Mum and Auntie Lucy are saying it doesn't look as bad as it felt, but it's just so disappointing. But I, I really should be used to it by now because it's always the same with you, the little madam. So food is soaking and then she can go back in her stable, grumpy girl. And then we need to sort out this roads and tracks timings. I've kind of neglected the vlog a bit. So since earlier, what have we done? I've got my dressage result. Um, we didn't do guesses because we were way off with Hugo and you never really know what they're gonna say. But um, we got 35.8. So I'm actually pleased with that because I thought it was a bad test. And for also a 20 by 60, it was quite a complicated test. And yeah, for me, quite difficult. I managed to remember all the markers and all the correct movements. So 35.8, I'm not too disappointed and we're not uh, last in our sections. It's always been last. So as he's currently dragging me back to the stables, so we're meant to be hand grazing. Come on, say. She won't have it. She's refusing to eat the grass. And what else? We've cycled around roads and tracks. You've probably seen a bit of that. Are you gonna eat this? 
and mind the fence, crikey. And we've also walked steeplechase for tomorrow. So that is day one of the competition part done. We've done trot up this morning and we've done dressage. So one out of three phases are complete. Feeling a bit more ready for cross country tomorrow. I need to write my minute cards for roads and tracks. Um, it's a nice course cross country there's a couple of questions the combination at seven and there's one more combination of like a b and c but it, you never know we'll see how it rides but it looks nice it's very good ground so i'm gonna walk off a bit more now we are meant to be heading back to the stable actually because she's refusing to eat the grass over here and um maybe give her a bit more food but she's doing very well and yeah it's, it's very exciting being at my first long format three day whatever you want to call it with Zazie and she's coping very well so far for her, her age being a golden oldie as she is so I think she's quite keen to go back to the stable now and try and find some grass she's actually dragging me towards someone putting a tent up like you wouldn't think that a horse wants to go towards that but she apparently does you want to go and see this tent she looks so well Rasa. what a grazing spot to finish off our first full day hey Zazie try not to drop the leading rein I failed <laughs> so that is as I just said the end of our first full day it's now about 10 to 6 and out here with Zazie letting her have some grass because we have finally found some grass she likes miles and miles away from everybody else like the lorry park and stables are there and it's just through at the beginning of phase A. So this is the start of our roads and tracks tomorrow. I'm pooing my pants rather, but never mind. Um, she was very good today. Not too, well uh, actually it was a bad dressage, but you know, what can you expect? But yeah, I think I will sign the vlog off here for today because it seems like a good place to stop it. After this, we're just gonna put her away and give her her feed and then catch up with you in the morning. I don't know whether to be up high or down low, has he? And um, I'm not sure yet whether I'm gonna do two vlogs or one big vlog, but I will sign off today here and see you tomorrow either in the same vlog or in a different vlog. And she's very happy stopping her face here in the sun. But it's a bit cold. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed our first day, well, day and a bit at Siren Sester. And yeah, looking forward to tomorrow where we can get some good jumping action. That's probably all the footage that you guys actually want to see on the dressage. You have to do the dressage to get to the jumping, don't you, Zazie? Anyway, I'm rambling on now, so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. And thanks for watching. If this was a separate vlog, look out for part two. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.